In front of us we have my Nightcore. This is the P10 GT. And this is the eight year review, I believe. I believe it's been eight years that I've had this light. And what's funny is I remember when I was looking for a light, the most important thing is that it had a feature that I'd seen before that was a button that would go straight to strobe. Okay, no programming of buttons, no click, 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 you know how that works. This one has this button right here. And when you hit it, it goes straight to strobe. And that's all I cared about, right? For a self-defense tool, this is it right here. It's got this button. Push it, you got strobe. But the first thing that happened was I was extremely hesitant to go with a light that used a rechargeable battery because I had a real hardcore obsession with normal batteries. Well, here's the battery it comes with, and what I can tell you is that I've gone for literally weeks without recharging this battery with no issues. And that's with pretty substantial use. So, it definitely converted me. You know, what I always wanted was just the standard, you know, triple, triple A's, maybe two double A's. Just because I know that in a emergency situation, I can find those. I've got a better chance of finding those, right? Triple A's, double A's, wherever you're going to get them from, they're probably going to be around. Now this is going to be much more difficult to find. Plus, if there's an issue with EMPs or power, well, you've got nothing because this has to be recharged. Through my experience with this, I've had no issues. I basically have got this where I recharge it. Here's its unit here, the charging unit, off of my battery brick. And I can power the battery brick with solar. So I got over it. It's worked beautifully for me. Eight years. It's seen a lot of action. And it's de-escalated a lot of um, bad situations. And that's all because of this button right here straight to strobe so there's no guessing no click once click twice click four times and tap your feet spin around and you get strobe no this is press the button straight to strobe and for that i love it but the first thing i noticed when i got it was its feel and the feel is absolutely beautiful it is made out of metal no plastics metal I also love this real aggressive tip here. You can see that real great tip. Very strong if you need to break something out. Look at this nut, just beautiful. So in your hand, it is a very reassuring tool. So if you need something for self-defense, because this strobe light, when it hits you, even during the daytime, you're blinded, but at nighttime, you are completely disoriented. I mean, it's gone. You got nothing. So it's just a great tool for de-escalation. You can see here there's remnants of the duct tape. And on all my tools, the reason that's there is so that way when it's in my hand, if I need to pull it out of its holster or it's in a pocket, whatever it is, I can quickly spin it. And with my thumb, I'm feeling where that duct tape is. You see that? So as it's spinning around the cylinder, I know that to put it in the position where I need it to line up with that button so I can hit it. That's why it's got this duct tape here. Now what I also do is I come in with a file or something and I'll, I'll literally scuff up the metal. So that way I know that when it's in my hand and I need it quick, I can rotate it, boom, straight in. Right straight to that button that I need. So on all my tools you'll see that I have this real messy duct tape right where I need it. I can spin it around, feel it, I know that I'm right on top of it. So if, even if I can't see it, you want to practice with your eyes closed. Spin it, feel it, get to know where that is, boom, I feel that, I know that right on top is my button for that strobe, which is a lifesaver. On top we've got our buttons, and we have our straight to strobe, which we've seen, which is a beautiful piece of machinery. It's solid metal, 
see how it's clipped in there. And then we have just a rubber selector on, off. That's it. Real simple. That's what I like. So to change its brightness settings, you turn it on and then use the strobe button to cycle through, right? Strobe, low, medium, high. So I'm going to leave it on high and now when I go for just the flashlight and press the button, we're in high. If I want to conserve the battery, I could drop that down to low. There's a medium. There's the high. So I leave it on high. And when I go to strobe, we're in high strobe. Very simple. That's all that I look for. Simplicity. I'm looking for a tool that serves my purpose. What do I need it for? I need this for self-defense, de-escalation. I don't want any confusion. I want to know that when I spin this and find my target, boom. That's all I care about. Design is so simple. You can see here it's just twist off. We'll open this up. And we've got the sensor for the light here connecting to the top of the battery, the positive here. Inside you can see that just, you know, hollow tube. It's got the spring in the bottom just like any normal battery system. So we've got the positive up top, negative on the bottom. On the back, this comes apart, and you'll see, again, there's our spring for the negative, for the battery, and we've just got a simple tube. And again, the feel, the quality of this, I mean, look at that, just beautiful craftsmanship. I really love this light. Now, if we're looking at the battery, this is an official Nightcore NL. 1835 HP November Lima 1835 Hotel Papa 3500 Mega Amp 8A. I couldn't tell you what that means, all I know is it works. <laughs> and you can see here, I've been lucky enough to um, find quite a few of these. I think I have about four of them. I've been able to find them, so I've got extras. This is the charging unit, super basic. It's just got your, um, you know, standard little micro USB. It's got a selector here. You can select between USB charging and battery charging, and it's USB. So I'm going to bring out my power bank to show you how I charged up. Obviously, if you've got shore power, if you've got a wall to plug into, here you go. So here we are with a simple battery brick. This happens to be a at least 10-year-old charger from a company called OutXZ who was excellent. I think they've gone out of business, but it's still ticking 10 years later. So to charge it, I simply plug it in via USB, put it in the Nightcore battery charger, and turn on the power. And you can see this battery is at 91%. Doesn't draw a lot. You can recharge it in the field off of battery, battery brick. Good to go. So, I like it. So well, there you have it. That's my take on the Nightcore P10 GT Papa 1-0 Golf Tango Nightcore. I highly recommend anything by Nightcore. I've been more than impressed by this company. I've tried lots of other brands and I definitely prefer the Nightcore. If you can find one of these, again, this is, I know that it's 8 to 10 years old. Again, it's the Papa 1-0 Golf Tango. If you can find one, get one. Because this little button here is where the magic happens. Hang tough.